Well, I'm reading through the Bible and I'm in the middle of Exodus, but I want to go back to Genesis because I re read about one of the great men of faith in the Bible, Joseph. And I want to talk to you about Joseph's ups and downs in your morning cup of inspiration. He certainly had his highs and he had his lows, but through it all, the Lord was with him. First of all, his brothers were jealous of him because he was his dad's favorite. Jacob uh, made Joseph a coat of many colors. And then his brothers one day heard him tell him about a dream he had that they were in the field binding sheaves and his sheaf rose up among the rest of them and all of their sheaves bowed down to his. So they thought he was arrogant. They ended up thinking about killing him one day, but they decided to sell him to a group of Ishmaelites. So they sold him for 20 pieces of silver. Now that had to be a low point, right? Your brothers sell you off. But then the Ishmaelites sold Joseph to Potiphar, who was very high up. He was the captain of the guard in Pharaoh's army. And Potiphar saw that the Lord was with Joseph. And he, it says in Genesis 39 2, and the Lord was with Joseph. And then Potiphar put him in charge of his whole household. But Potiphar's wife tried to make Joseph sin with her and lie with her, and he wouldn't do it. He was loyal to his master, and one day she begged him again, and he fled from her, but she grabbed his garment. And then she said, look, that Hebrew boy that you hired, uh, he tried to lie with me, and when, he, when I screamed, he fled, and I grabbed his garment. So Joseph was wrongly accused and put in prison. Another low point. But then even the prison guard noticed that the Lord was with Joseph, and so he, Joseph had, had favor with the guard. And Joseph was set over Pharaoh's butler and baker who were put into prison, and they both had dreams one time, and Joseph correctly interpreted the dreams, and they came true. He predicted the uh, butler would be restored to his position with Pharaoh in three days, and that the baker would be hanged, and it came to pass. And Joseph said to the butler, he said, look, when you're restored to Pharaoh, don't forget about me here in prison. Two years later, Pharaoh had a dream that no one could interpret. The butler remembered Joseph, and Joseph correctly interpreted the dream of seven fat cows that were eaten by seven skinny cows, and he told Pharaoh that means that there's going to be seven years of plenty in the land of Egypt, followed by seven years of famine. He said, you need to set a wise man over all of Egypt that will set aside food during the fat and prosperous years so that you've got food to give during the lean years. And he said, there's no one like you, Joseph. You have God's wisdom. So he put Joseph in charge. He was the number two man in all of Egypt. And during the famine, his brothers and his father came for food and they were all restored. And then after his father died, his brothers were fearful and they came to Joseph and they begged for forgiveness. And Joseph said to him, don't worry, I know you meant it to me for harm. And in Genesis 50, we read in the King James, but as for you, it's uh, chapter 50, verse 20, but as for you, ye thought evil against me, but God meant it unto good to bring to pass that it is this day to save much people alive. So Joseph went from prison to power and he was always faithful to God. Let's stay true to God and remember, the Lord is with Joseph, the Lord is with you, and he'll get you through this time of quarantine and this virus. God bless, and I'll see you soon for another morning cup of inspiration.